Hello world, uh, Draken here, and today I'll be making a should you or shouldn't you purchase guide in the shop, and should you or shouldn't you summon in the new summon banners, which I've taken a look at, and I am actually pretty happy with a lot of the summons they do have, but first we'll take a look at the shop. I will be using the paid viz I have from Christmas to purchase these summon tickets, because... They're vision card summon tickets, and those are something you don't see very often. And there is a lot of mythic rare summon tickets that I would, or summons that I would like to get, because there are a lot of good mythic rare vision cards, and it's mythic rare plus, so it's going to be guaranteed. And then on the tenth summon, you get a ultra rare, and I believe that's not a bad deal for the three hundred paid. So I have a total of 2,900, and that's from Christmas time actually when my friend gave me a $100 gift card. And I bought basically purely invested into this game. <laughs> and I can buy all five of those, and I'll still have a little bit of paid left afterwards in case they do have another sale like this, which I think is pretty good. I'll see how it is when I do the summons, and so will everyone else. <laughs> I'll either have extreme buyer's remorse or not because of how much I've been trying to save that. And of course the free medals are always worth claiming. We'll actually take a look at that metal shop and see if they have anything new or special in it. I don't think they do, it's probably the exact same metal stuff they've had. I don't actually like these purchases right here because I view them as either unit shards or summon shards. And the double cost units are still double cost, so it would take two of these medals to get one. So, I don't think 2,500 paid viz is worth a hundred, you know, f vision card or unit summon ticket. You might if you're a while. This video is kind of more for the people who are in the dolphin class or who are free to play, but thinking about investing maybe just 300 paid viz, something small, not a lot. But I'll also go over just the regular ones too. So, blue magicite pass. 1,500 paid, and you get 100 extra large. See, that's a good amount, but it's not for the paid viz. If it was even 2,000 regular viz, I would recommend it, but because it is paid viz, I am not going to recommend that. Vision card full enhancement pack. I've actually bought one of these previously because that is a lot of growth eggs, and it is hard to get these to the point where you can fully enhance a vision card. So if you do have free viz, I would recommend buying one of these because it will help you greatly increase your power just from the vision cards leveling up. I would not recommend buying multiples. You can only buy one in this like winter shop, but I bought one in the last winter shop and I don't think I'll be buying another one. We'll see how many I have left after I get the mythic rare cards. Limit burst enhancement pack is actually not a bad deal. Because, again, these pots are harder to get. So, for a thousand viz, getting a hundred of those isn't the worst. It's limited to three. If you want to limit burst, enhance, like, a couple people to full, I'd probably recommend getting a few of those. Equipment ability pack. This, I've already bought one so far. Because the equipment abilities, again, I constantly forget to do these rooms. And it is a good deal. I'm actually going to buy two of those. There's a couple abilities I want to fully max out on the equipment. That I've kind of been slacking off on. And there's always new equipment coming out. For units that... You know, new TMRs that are going to be really fucking amazing. And you're going to want their abilities maxed. And you most likely won't see this sale in any other shop. Except for this one, anytime soon. Ultra Rare Unit Awakening Pack, if it has like 9 Vision Spears, yes, it has one. <laughs> and at this point in the game, if you've been playing for a long time, you should have a bunch of these built up. I would say this is not a good deal. Don't, don't get it. Unit Enhancement Pack 2. Anything that has just cubes is garbage. Don't even consider it. So any of those unit enhancement packs, just don't even look at them. They're not worth your time a day. Vision card enhancement pack. Okay, 100 of those, 150. 
50, 50 turtles. Vision card full on hats for pack, so you're getting 300 less of these growth eggs. But you'd be getting 150 extra golden turtles, which may be something you would need to actually enhance your vision, vision card. So consider that you can get a limit of 5. It's not the worst because it's just regular viz. Anything that's regular viz is worth considering. Unless it's fucking experience cubes. Or it's only 10 of these extra large summons. The rest of these, it doesn't matter. They could have 10,000 of the medium ones. They're, they're garbage. They won't even enhance your <laughs> fucking Esper like, a couple levels. Like it's, it's ridiculous how much you need to get an Esper up. So that one is definitely a no bueno. It's not good. Don't get it. Job training support pack. Uh, those can all be farmed with just potion pots and the training chamber, or even just freely going in multiplayer and doing them. And you'll get so many of these citr like citrines and whatever they are, you won't ever need to do that. I haven't. I haven't <laughs> ever needed to. I think I have like two to three hundred of each one and not looking like I'm going to be losing any of those. So the only reason to consider maybe buying this is because it's just gold. Anything that's gold doesn't really matter, but if I look... 2,500 of those cubes. 300 brown cubes, but I don't really care. <coughs> you kind of build them up naturally. I did buy the equipment enhancing pack. It's just a good value for your ores. I would definitely recommend grabbing that. I don't really recommend grabbing these unless you, you know, have a ton of extra gills standing around. It does add up over time. I have a good amount to kill, but I don't know. I can just farm the farm the equipment book chambers. Those are the ones I'm thinking of that have those. Now, the new unit cards. I really like the Black Rose of the Battlefield card, so I may end up actually just buying the shards for it. But because it's not limited time, and it's not, you know, it's going to be free, free to get later on, just from your regular pulls. I mean, it'll be hard to get free, but it's not impossible. I may just buy the, you know, 75 shards. Yeah. And just save them up. Uh, same with uh, this glass seal. I actually really want this card. It's really unfortunate for me because I want to save up a bunch, but I'll end up most likely buying the 60 shards for, you know, 180. Uh, you can't get these two with the vision card pulls that I did get. I checked that out. They normally don't let you do that because they want you to pull on these. The paid one gives you 50. Three vision spheres, which I still think is too little. Like, they really should be giving you you know, nine or like 10 at least, like, come on. And then 15 turtles, that's nothing. Growth eggs, that's a hundred regular. It's basically not even gonna make a dent. And 50 shards for, 50 shards and three spears. That's really the only thing you're getting out of this pack that's useful. I don't believe that's worth 2000 paid viz. I mean, if you're a whale, you probably don't care. You'll probably just get this pack three times. Because I'd be 150 of those shards. <laughs> and we all know you need less shards to actually fully awaken one of these cards than you do a unit. So that's probably pretty close to max. If it's not max, I don't actually remember how many shards you need to awaken fully. I think you only need 25 to awaken the first time. And then I think it might be 50 the second time, then 75 the third. Um, I think it's 125 though for a final awakening. I'm guaranteeing it is. I remember that for by the one. So for these uh, eight element enhancement shops, I did actually buy one already, Lucia, and that's because I'm going to be using her in the upcoming Siren raid. And 
I was actually kind of worried about getting her to even just her fourth limit break, but with this I can now guarantee that I'll have her up there. So that is very nice, that reduces my, you know, time on the hard quest by 20 days just by getting this. That's how long it would take to build up 40 shards with the free-to-play methods that I've been using for most of my units. It takes a long time to get anybody up, so when something like that does come out... And there's a couple others I considered. I almost considered doing Old Oldoa, but like I looked at my Viz and I'm just keeping myself saving. Her TMR is really good. Howlet is another one I kind of looked at because I do like him as a unit, but I have so long to go that I'm just going to save up the slow way for those units. And there may be a poll that comes on later on in Sakal. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. I don't have any of his shit. Uh, Frederica, I haven't been building her. And I'm not going to start now. But these units are... Like, there's a good, decent amount of good units that'll be coming out. And they'll have every unit, basically, over the next couple days here. So if there's a unit you really, really want... Make sure to go to this shop on the day that that unit is featured and buy those shards because it is a, you know, it's a standard unit summon deal right there, right? 40 shards for 2,000 viz, that's what they normally have everywhere. We've all seen this shop already, I don't need to go over that one. Floodworks, I don't think there's anything that I need out here. Never mind, Glass Heal. Glass Heal is someone who I will be purchasing those shards for because I really like her TMR and I would love to put it onto Agrius. Okay, so that is the current new shop. There are a few good deals in this. I really like the vision cards because vision cards are a huge thing to go towards. So now let's get to the summoning. I did just my daily and my free ultra rare, or my free mythic rare one which is still going on. They're not done with it just yet. So, you know, make sure that you do realize this is still going on. I am very happy that they have these back, the free to normal times 10 summons. Those are helping me out a lot and I may be able to get some of the materials like the Zubiks and some of the cysts that I do need for, you know, all the other stuff it's for certain weapons. Now this does make me sad that I'm not a whale, because otherwise I would definitely be getting this. It's very rare for them to have like a vision card only <laughs> summon like this, which is so, so painful to see what I want. Because I would definitely do these two if I was a whale, like especially this one here, this one as well. That would be five rainbow spheres as well. If you think about it. And that's... They basically charge you like 2,000 paid viz for like one or two spears. So you'd be getting a better deal doing this than you would be purchasing a ultra rare awakening pack in the fucking shop there. And getting ripped off pretty hard in my opinion. Now this... I'm not going to be doing this summon. Even though some of the rewards are okay. You do get 25 more of her medals on the third summon guaranteed. You get Select Magicite Extra Large 30, <coughs> and on each one of these you do get a hundred of those medals. So I will take a look at the shop here quickly, just to see what those medals can buy. Oh, if this is doing the rerun here. Tower medals, I'll be doing this, getting through that. Winter medals... let's see, they did not update these, I don't think. They're still just the standard ones. So depending on what vision cards I get here, I may be using the free shards I've been getting for something else. So these are the January Summon Medals B. You can also use those Summon Medals as well on this. So they give you 100 of those medals, and that seems like a lot. However, it takes 20 to get one shard, so that equates to five. There is... No real reason to do that summon based on that, and you need a thousand, so you'd be halfway to getting one Rainbow Vision Sphere, which is such a dirty deal. That'd be 20,000 fizz you'd have to spend to get one Rainbow Vision Sphere. So 
that does not change it. That doesn't make it a good deal. I was thinking it might if it was like the other metals in the metal shop where it's literally like you need five to make one shard. However, they're not that generous. They've just increased the number and made it seem like you get more out of it, but you're not really getting more out of it. And I mean, it's 10,000 viz, and you get a guaranteed version of this card. If you're trying to get that card immediately and get her max limit broke, you probably can with all the, you know, with the medals you get here, the medals you get there, the shop. You'll be able to do it, but you'll have to spend way too much viz, in my opinion, of the paid variety, which I do not have. And if you do, that's great. You'll have this card maxed out. It is a very good card to have if you missed out on the agility up. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics card. I'm drawing a blank on the name here. I always bug my friend that he should have maxed it. He has it four out of five stars and it's just such a good card to have maxed. It does unfortunately have these limitations to certain units as well as it's more, more four magic units. Doesn't show the actual pluses or minuses here on it, but it's mostly magic up and speed up for like if you're getting Helena here, this is great. <laughs> because this will give her 25% total agility up. That's massive. I don't think there's there's no, nothing else, no other card that can give that much because this is the bestowed effect it will add with the party ability which that's crazy if you think about it just for that one unit this card is a must-have for that one unit the good news is it's not limited time so if you are free to play you can get it and you can get it slowly if you are thinking of getting this card later i would recommend buying the you know visuri so now that we've looked at that this isn't really worth it unless you have to have that card here right now. I would pass on it, save up for, you know, the Final Fantasy X banner or some of the other banners. So let's get the free vision cards. Shards times 10, which is fantastic. There is a lot less vision cards. All right, nice. I'm actually happy that I got a couple of these medals here. I like getting those medals got a bunch of these which I also like a lot oh maxed out my foul love so happy about that already <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for that extra 5% attack bonus and the extra little bit of slash from it for quite a while every time I built up enough metals I would put it towards that and I got a couple other cards that I, I don't mind having these ones in particular are ones I kind of liked so Let's see here, Mythic Rare guaranteed, the first one's free, and I bought all those tickets out, so we'll have quite a few little summons here. So the first one starts with an Ultra Rare, which honestly, there's not that bad of a chance to get an Ultra Rare because of how few vision cards there are compared to units. You're more likely to get this, and that, more importantly, gives me one of those Rainbow Vision Spheres. I don't actually really like this one right now, it's one I don't really use, but the Rainbow Vision Sphere is greatly appreciated. So I have 26 tickets. The 26 summons here today, guys. And hopefully we get some good stuff. Basically any Mythic Rares are... They're decent cards. They're fully maxed out. They're better than a, you know, no-star Ultra Rare card. But even... When they aren't fully maxed out in these ranked battles where they have limitations on your units, you may very well want to just pick a couple Mythic Rare cards to be able to keep your formation the way you want it. So I've gotten this one a couple times now. Wind Attack Up is something I don't need. <laughs> I don't need that. <coughs> oh. I hit the minus button on my mic instead of the pause button. Sorry about that, guys. Well, let's see if we can get... Like, we get guaranteed Ultra Rares after so long. 
Some of the mythic rare cards aren't so bad. Some of them aren't really that great. Earth Eater up, that could be useful against a certain raid boss that's coming out. I believe Golem will be coming out. Oh, nice. There we go, another maxed one. It's better when I get these maxed because then all of a sudden I can just use the shards I get from them to max out the ones I really want. So I like it when I max out any of these. And we got a Leviathan, which is brand new, so that's good. I did like this one, but I passed on it because I just wasn't willing to do that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Max hit point up, slash attack up. So he gives a good little chunk up to specific units there. And Pierce Attack Resist up 6 to start with is pretty decent. And you see this a lot more with the newer vision cards. They have different stats than just the attack, magic, and hit point. The first few basically exclusively had. That's all they were giving. Now, with the newer ones, you'll see that they'll give you defense up, they'll give you spirit up, they'll give you a bunch of agility up too. So those are factors to consider when you're looking at the newer vision cards. His defense up is very good for a tank, even though there are lots of units now that are pretty much able to pierce through any defense a tank does have. It's still nice to have on those units that don't have that pierce up. I believe this is 20 shards. I think I had that maxed. Or maybe I didn't actually. So that card will be useful if you ever want to build a striking team. Because strike up, attack up. I don't even think there's an ultra rare card that gives strike attack up to the party yet. There might be. I can't think of it right now. Okay, perfect. The more of these we get, the better. And I mean, all the other extra little rewards you get in here too, they're not, they're not the worst. I'm okay with getting duplicates of these kind of guys. I would have loved to have like, uh, you know, 10 or 20 of the chocobos that give agility in a row, because I do not actually have an agility card at all. So my next one is a guaranteed. So let's see which ultra rare I get guaranteed. I've already gotten two ultra rares, which isn't too bad. Oh nice, it's a new one as well. So missile attack resistance up, and man eater. Pierce attack up, that's for Victoria. Glacial, what is that? And Victoria. Okay, that's nice. That's for Glacial as well. She is a unit I'm building. And I do have Victoria as well. Wind attack resist up and hate up. For Mont. Okay, that's that's interesting that they have one for just Mont here too. He's going to actually become relevant again for a little while here when he gets his 120 job increase. And luck, dexterity. So it's it's nice because there are lots of times when like the magic buff was just for attack units and it's was just useless to have that stat on them. So now they've added this. Six luck up is good. If it's fully maxed out, it probably goes up by a little bit, maybe up to 12 or something. I haven't really looked into who some of these cards I wasn't planning to pull for. I'll basically look into them when I get them. That way I'm not tempted away from saving. <laughs> That's how I, you know, try to keep myself away from spending on them. I don't actually look into them until afterwards. Because there are other things I want to save up for even more. So 12 more left. That's not too bad. Oh, is that a... Is that just a rain? Oh, Azure Vision Sphere. Sometimes I mix the colors up. I was like, is that a rainbow sphere on its own? That would have made me happy. That would have been a good pull right there. As it is, I have so many of those Azure spheres, but it takes 20 of them to make one rainbow, so it's not really worth converting them. You don't really get enough out of it. <laughs> I may convert one or two if it was the last one I need. Okay, this is good. I actually need this vision card up a little bit more here. I don't have a really good magic up one leveled up at all right now. And that's another good point to get these is they aren't using your rainbow vision spheres when you're leveling them up. 
and those become a very hot commodity very soon. Like you'll run out of them pretty easily, more so than even the rainbow bricks. <laughs> so I'm completely out almost. Like I think I'm actually back up to four or five right now, but like you need ten to fully like get the last level of a vision card. And I have about three or four ultra rare cards that I can't get up to the fourth level because I just don't have the rainbow vision spheres. Okay, this gives one agility. Attack up, evasion up, and it doesn't have any simple bonuses. So the agility up on it is what would make this mythic rare not bad. Fully leveled up, I don't imagine it'll go up too, too much though. But still, it's every little piece of agility goes up. People recommend Hermie Sandals because it has, I believe, just six agility up, and that increase makes a difference because agility is it's not the highest number value so you have to realize even just a couple points makes a little bit of a difference and may give your character an extra turn so if you can put a vision card on that gives agility equipment that gives agility and an esper that gives a bunch of agility you can turn a unit that's normally really slow into one that can at least act just as fast as one of the faster characters without a bunch of agility boosts you'll never be able to move faster than a you know character that has the highest agility and has all those same agility boosting items on them but sometimes they don't always have that because they just have good agility as it is but you definitely don't want a unit that's too slow to act oh nice 25 of him it would have been nice if it was a different esper because i can get this one for free slowly but he'll be the next one I build up after my Shiva is fully upgraded. So I'm okay with that. I do like his abilities. And it would be interesting if he had agility up on him. But because he's one of the older ones, he'll only have the standard hit point attack and magic up on him. His Esper is amazing. I'm fucking just happy every Rainbow Vision Sphere I get. I'll be saving those up as much as I can and not even awakening the ultra rare vision cards I have right now because I want those saved up for when you know the Final Fantasy X banner comes out so I can have some some spheres towards that. So only two more summons left here. Bloody Moon. Don't really think I have use for that one. Last one is the striking up <laughs> which just means more of those metal shards. So, that was a good little amount of metal shards. I think that's everything I want to do out of the summoning. I mean, I want to do this one. <laughs> and I really want to do this one too. But I can't afford to invest into this game at this point in time. If I was given money, I would definitely invest into it. But I'm not that lucky. <laughs> so let's take a look. Let's scroll all the way down. Vision card medals. So these ones, of course, take a while to build up, unfortunately. And lots of them cost 100 instead of just the little 50. So for here, I have 290 right now. And out of here, there's a bunch that are 100, and then there's a bunch that are 50, and I don't really know how they do the ratings. Because there are several 50 medals, such as Vow of Love, that I think it's one of the best Mythic Rare cards there are. Or I guess it's called Mega Rare, someone corrected me on that before. I don't know why I always think Mythic Rare. Probably because of Magic the Gathering, to be honest. Uh, Beloved Sidekick Chocobo, that's what I actually want to get. But I won't be putting 200 of those just to get that. If anything, I'd just do a couple more of these Mythic Rare Summon Tickets. Maybe. I'd probably actually just take a look here and decide. Or just save up for later on, because they will eventually have newer cards that will come out, and then you can purchase the shards up from in here and get a little bit closer to awakening them up. So for Vision Cards, I can actually check to see how many of these I do have. So he's... Do I have enough for him? Probably not. No, I just have five. And you need ten. 
And I only have five of those, five shards, so I won't be getting him up anytime soon. This dragon I don't quite have enough up. Maybe I don't have a bunch that are ready to go to. Oh, Shiva will be very soon. I'll have enough to get her up. And it'll be painful not to, because she works very well with my current team comp on Sakura, because of the high magic up she gives. And just the ice attack resist is nice. It's not something you see as much as you see dark, but it's still handy to have. Mm -hmm. This one I'll be leveling up here. Much more enhance. 400 of those. So to get it from level 55 to 70, it takes 95 of those. And... 3, 6, 5 million gil. So I can level those up. But I'll pass and wait on it until... That card will only be useful when it comes to the Final Fantasy X. And if I get Titus, and then I'll have a water team of Titus, Glacial, and Eldira. And that'll be my water team. This will be my third water card, along with the ultra rare and mega rare card that comes out at that time. That'll be my water threes team. <laughs> but of course, that's if I get everything I want on that banner, which ends up being the ultra rare card, the mythic rare card, the Bahamut, <laughs> the Titus, the Yuna, and the Orin. So I'm trying for six things on that banner. So I'll probably just get whatever I do get within reason. I don't have as much viz as a lot of people do going into that. You hear people saying, I have 100,000 viz, and it's like, holy fuck, I wish. <laughs> but I just have this little amount here. I'll be saving it up as best I can here going forward. There are still always going to be deals in the shop that you are going to want to check out, such as the ones you just saw. So hopefully this video helps convince you on what you should get, shouldn't get. And see you guys next time.